Hello friends. This presentation contains information on Alcoholic cirrhosis and its etiology, pathogenesis, clinical features, investigations, and treatment. Alcoholic liver disease is a term that encompasses the liver manifestations of alcohol overconsumption, including fatty liver, alcoholic hepatitis, and chronic hepatitis with liver fibrosis or cirrhosis. Alcoholic cirrhosis is characterized by diffuse fine scarring, fairly uniform loss of liver cells and small regenerative nodules. Risk factors and etiology Quantity of alcohol taken Safe weekly limits of alcohol, in males is 21 units and in females it's 14 units. 1 unit equals 10 gm of alcohol, 30 cubic centimeters of whiskey, 100 cubic centimeters of wine, 250 cubic centimeters of beer. Cirrhosis is six times greater when consumption is 40-60 gm per day, roughly double the safety limit. Serogenic dose is 180 gm of ethanol per day for 25 years, six times the safety limit. Pattern of drinking Drinking outside of meal times increases up to three times the risk of alcoholic liver disease. Sex, women are twice as susceptible to alcohol-related liver disease, and may develop alcoholic liver disease with shorter durations and doses of chronic consumption. Hepatitis C infection, a concomitant hepatitis C infection significantly accelerates the process of liver injury. Genetic factors genetic factors predispose both to alcoholism and to alcoholic liver disease. Iron overload, hemochromatosis. Diet, malnutrition, particularly vitamin A and E deficiencies, can worsen alcohol-induced liver damage by preventing regeneration of hepatocytes. Pathogenesis. The early insult to the liver includes hepatocyte degeneration and necrosis. Damaged hepatocytes contain Mallory bodies. The degeneration causes fibrosis followed by regeneration resulting in the formation O nodules. Clinical features Common symptoms includes anorexia, weight loss, muscle wasting, jaundice and fatigue. A firm nodular liver either enlarged, normal or decreased in size may be present. There may be mild to moderate splenomegaly. Signs of liver cell failure. Parotid and lacrimal gland enlargement and clubbing of fingers occur. Later signs of portal hypertension and hepatic coma develop. Investigations. 1. Blood work. Platelet count. Progressive decline in platelet count is an important marker and the first clue for the evolution of cirrhosis in a patient with chronic liver disease. ASTBYALT, SGOT by SGPT, ratio is greater than 2 in alcoholic patients due to severely depressed ALT by alcohol. Note elevation of AST more than ALT is also seen in Wilson's disease and established cirrhosis secondary to HBV infection. Prolonged serum prothrombin time due to reduced synthesis of vitamin K-dependent clotting factors. Serum albumin is depressed and serum globulins are increased due to impaired protein synthesis by liver. Leukopenia and thrombocytopenia due to hypersplenism and due to the effect of alcohol on the bone marrow. Glucose intolerance, due to insulin resistance. Elevated ammonia level in hepatic encephalopathy. Other abnormalities include hypomagnesemia, and hypophosphatemia, hypoatremia, hypokaliemia and respiratory alkalosis. Ultrasonography to find liver size and obstructive disorders of hepatobiliary tree. Liver biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment. Alcohol should be forbidden. Diet enriched with proteins and amino acids. Drugs must be administered with caution as almost all the drugs undergo metabolism through liver. Corticosteroids are sometimes used, however, this is recommended only when severe liver inflammation is present. 
Role of Drug Selamarin, S. Adenosylmethionine, Anti Tumor Necrosis Factor Medications such as Infliximab and Adenercept, Pentoxifiline, and Propylthia uracil are unclear and possibly harmful. Liver transplantation remains the only definitive therapy because disease process is mostly irreversible. Thank you for watching this video. If you like, please share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such videos.